I really don't like what Adi said because... Good. Get in there, go no. on! I think there's a general impression that evolutionary theory is well established and basically understood when I can just tell you that evolutionists have been at each other's throats for a good hundred years and, uh, and the fundamental tenets of evolutionary theory are now being questioned. For instance, does evolution have a direction? The standard answer is no and there are good reasons to think that the answer could be yes. And then how did purpose, you know, agency emerge from a chemical system. Now it turns out that, as I say, uh, evolution is considered to be uh, a process without purpose. I have brought here a book uh, that just came out uh, just a month ago, MIT Press, a reputable, reputable publisher, with some 20 chapters by the leading biologists in the world, and the title of the book is evolution on purpose. In other words, the evolutionary process is turning out to be purposeful in itself. I don't know if people know the, the story of, about the immune system of, of bacteria and how they actually deliberately change their genome in order to protect themselves against viral attack in a better way. So here, the, the genome doesn't just change randomly, which is one of the tenets of, of classic evolutionary theory. The organism changes its own genome by putting in a bit of viral DNA so that it'll recognize uh, a virus that might attack it. So uh, we're having, to, if we want to understand evolution, we have to understand the basics in a better way and what I'm saying is evolution didn't start with life, evolution started with physics and chemistry and evolutionary theory largely ignores the most important part of evolution, namely when dead stuff evolved into simplest life. So you need a continuous evolutionary theory that goes from the very beginning and not just start where you feel comfortable with biological systems. So we know that evolution improves itself. The, the, the evolution of evolvability is something that's studied a lot. The, the genetic code is adapted so that uh, mutations will tend to produce amino acids that are more similar to each other um, than not. It's beautiful. Uh, there's a, the, you know, that's well established in evolutionary biology. Um, but uh, to use purpose um, as an explanation for the thing you're trying to explain in the first place seems to uh, be a fundamental paradox, that the explanation of an origin of something mustn't use a property that that thing has to explain it. It's like, you know, giving the joke, uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg, and answering with, to get to the other side. I mean, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I just, I just want to say, I really don't like what Adi said, because Good. Get in there. Go no, on. I'm, I'm there We've with you. We've been successful. <laughs> no, I, I just, I, I, no, okay, I like, the, I like the meat of what you said, but I don't like the way you said it because, of, because, I mean, living in the U.S., I hear the creationist debate way more often than I should. If bacteria doesn't one day decide I'm going to change my genome. It, that's an evolutionary process that happens, but I would really like to avoid anthropom anthropomorphizing it because it just, it, it's not like there is a decision made to do this. Purpose doesn't mean there's a decision maker. Do you deny that there is purpose in the way living things behave? No, no, I don't. Okay. I just now my deny there was is, a decision maker. How does purpose then emerge in a process of abiogenesis? How did purpose come about? We have to give a physical chemical explanation it's because for the things, source of things of with purpose. purpose did better than things without purpose. So I, I have a value system based on reinforcement learning. I have a you know, dopamine-based uh, reinforcement learning system, uh, which um, has generally helped me survive much better than if I didn't. But that doesn't mean there was a decision maker that invented it. It exactly. just happened. Exactly. It's the invisible hand. Yeah. Well, the direction in nature, to the best of my understanding, is the second law of thermodynamics that pushes everything downhill. And there is no purpose in that general process that determines how what things is, undergo change. What is the purpose so, of capitalism? Well, that's exactly... Now, that's the direction we didn't yeah. think this debate was going to go into, it has to be said. It, it, yeah.
But I mean, it's a good question, right? Where does purpose come from? Right? Where does it's a, there's, a, there's a process called natural selection. To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below. Or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.